What we need, gentlemen, is a really good, strong prime minister, OK, whichever political persuasion. Someone like, oh, I don't know, someone like Winston Churchill, which brings me neatly back to the story <laughs> we didn't have time to discuss earlier on. Sounds clever. I did that myself, by the way. That wasn't written by a producer. Um, this is an interview with Danny Sapani, who is a great actor. who's preparing to tackle King Lear at the Amelia Theatre in London. And he is saying there's no reason a black actor cannot play Churchill. But... It needs to work both ways. Now, do you agree with him, Abby? No, I don't agree with him, actually. Look, I think it's perfectly reasonable to say as an actor you're a bit of a lovey. Oh, in an ideal world, it would be great if black actors could play uh, Churchill and white actors could play black historical figures like Kwame Nkrumah, who was the, the, the first president of Ghana, the first country in Africa to become independent. In an ideal world, wouldn't that be perfect? We don't live in an ideal world, and it would be absolutely preposterous to Ghanaians if Kwame Nkrumah was to be played by a white actor in a major biopic, just as it would be preposterous to Brits if Winston Churchill was to be played by a black actor right. in a major biopic. Now, the point, I mean, Danny Sapani is saying, to be fair, he's saying it works both ways. I mean, you know, you, you can have a black actor playing Churchill, you can have a, you know, a, a white actor playing a, a famous black historical figure. Because at the end of the day, you're acting, you're being someone you're not. It's pretending, basically. Now... I personally think that if the skin colour is nothing to do with the story you are telling, say Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, exactly, where their blackness, very much an intrinsic part of their story, then obviously that has to be a black actor playing that role. However, I mean, what's at Bridgerton? Is it that, that, that they have colourblind casting. So, I mean, surely Danny Sapani does have a point, doesn't he? So Matthew? I was going to bring up this, like, this sort of boom in historical dramas, right? Or sort of... There was a Black Anne Berlin recently as well, wasn't there, Channel 4? So, look, we've had, I think we've had a, a woman, Fiona Shaw, play Richard II or Richard III, I can never remember which. And fantastic, experiment, try. Should there, should there be a white Othello? I mean, if you want to try it and you're trying to make a, a clever or interesting point or challenge the role, then... Fine, but essentially, when it is a strictly it is a strictly historical drama, particularly of relatively recent times, like a Churchill, it's or a Martin Luther King. It seems to me that that might be distracting. Having said that, right, as soon as you get into a drama, if it's well done, if it's well acted and well directed, well filmed, if it's on the telly and so forth, we suspend our disbelief quite easily. And you start to look beyond that pretty quickly, I think. Oh, I don't think you do. I mean, we, we had, in Doctor Who, we had Sir Isaac Newton played by a person of colour. There was a, a Channel 4 uh, Prince Andrew comedy, awful comedy uh, musical, which they had about his, in, about his interview like concept, with, with Emily Maitlis and, and Prince Charles was played by a black actor. And it was just ridiculous. I, I mean, it, my, my belief was not suspended. I just thought, who are these idiots? playing these white characters who we all know were white historical figures. I think if it's a fiction, like Bridgerton, I think that's totally different. James Bond. Do what, James Bond, do what you like with fiction. Because otherwise, black actors will not get a look in. Without, that's there's, not there's, true there's, at all. No, what I was going to say, there are so many historical dramas, and we were largely, there were, there, was a black, there were black people in this country for centuries, but we were largely a white society. And if we're going to have this fascination, absolutely fine, with these sort of costume dramas, the idea that we can't have black actors playing them would be utterly absurd. No, actually what we have to do is tell the stories from those periods in history properly. If we look at The Crown, for example, which this actor played Kwame Nkrumah in, in a brilliant episode with the Queen and Kwame Nkrumah, where she went to Ghana and danced with this black president for the first time, it was a big mm. historical yeah. event, if you actually record the history and show it in art properly, you will see that there are black people that were real in those situations. We don't need to go around pretending so you think that Bridgerton people... Got it wrong? We don't, no, I think Bridgerton is a fiction, so I think fiction is different. I think The Crown, however, actually displaying history and international relations with black leaders and white leaders and Asian leaders is the right thing to do. I don't think pretending different leaders were different colours when they weren't, which is historically inaccurate, is the I right thing to do. With, we I should think, be telling the truth. I, think I agree with you on that, but it, how, it's how far you extend this logic, because Bridgeton is a fiction, but it's still representative of a period of time. 
It's fiction. It's made up. It's make believe. There was never a Lord and Lady Bridgerton. That didn't happen. Whereas Winston Churchill, that did happen. And we know that he was white because he's from one of the great aristocratic families of this country. But you'd agree with me, and you'd agree with me, therefore, that Shakespeare, a black actor, could play anyone, even though some of those plays are historical. Do you know what fiction means, no, Matthew? No, some of the Shakespearean plays are based on history, Albie. But it's still fiction. Well, so, 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 so is historical drama involving Churchill. That's, that is on some level a fiction because it's an interpretation. I have no issue at all with dramas like Bridgerton, which is made up, make-believe, having black princes and princesses and lords and ladies who are Asian. That's not what a problem about a at all.